quite the game and a lot to uh, digest. But first of all, your take on, on the performance today? Yeah, we showed a lot. Spirit fight, second half, obviously on the front foot. And we'd probably leave more space in the second half um, when we're behind anyway. Um, but it's difficult when we lose a goal so early and then the second goal sloppy from our part as well. But that was it. Uh, we pressed well first half. The majority of the game was in Norwich's half. And they play longer to, to try and get over our press, which is fine. But we didn't deal with the ball, so that's where the... The second goal comes from um, and then when we were behind we took too many risks too early in terms of how we defended so we're a team that likes the ball to play in their half and because we didn't lock out correctly at the back even when we attacked they had a pass so then they maybe had a counter attack which they didn't deserve and shouldn't have had uh, so that that was the first half so that's all that was wrong there was nothing Norwich didn't worry me I wasn't worried about the game uh, and then second half, we win the headers when it goes forward. We step in and win the ball. We lock out properly to keep more of the game in, in their half. And so the the whole atmosphere of the, the, the stadium changes. And um, yeah, it allows us to build that momentum like we usually do and usually play. So second half was, was very, very good. Because of the way the match started, extraordinary in the circumstances mm. with the first goal, but the, the overall flatter nature of it. When you look at the impact the substitutes made, made, do you wonder whether the team selection was quite right to begin with? No, because we've got to protect players. We've got to protect them. We've had so many injuries and everyone's talking about we have to protect players. And, and we also want to give opportunity. The squad's there to be used, so this is another opportunity for people to step up and, and perform. Um, and like I say, when it, so then when I'm picking the team and it looks back, we, we see the difference. It's chalk and cheese, first half, second half. But... We needed Flecky to get the minutes, we needed to rest Tommy, we needed to share that workload with him and Maka. Um, obviously Ollie and, and Illyman doing the 90 less than 72 hours ago, it's, these are big things. Um, so yeah, we've, we've got to do it all together, that's the thing. And then it became extraordinary, didn't it? Might have won it, <coughs> might have won 4-2, might have lost 3-2 mm. based on penalty decisions, might have had a penalty of your own of course with, with Illyman and, and Jai. So, well... In that analysis then, I suppose the blunt question is, your take on the refereeing performance? No, I'm not, I'm not going to mention the referee, I'm not going to speak about the referee. You can ask me about the decisions, I've watched, I've seen everything back now, so if you want me to go through each decision, then that's fine, I'll do that. All right then, so the decision not to award Sheffield United a penalty Illiman. on Jai? Yeah, that's not a penalty. Based on? Not enough contact in my eyes, you know? Listen, I've seen given, but I wouldn't... I appealed at the time, but watching it back now, no, I wouldn't give that. Okay. The decision to award Norwich that penalty, yeah, ultimately that was saved. It's not a penalty. John Egan gets the ball. And is that because the, the part of the quandary in the chronology is, well, all right, you're saying you got the ball, so I suppose it renders the other challenge on Hernandez No, the second one, yeah. that's why I asked. Yeah. And and, but even that challenge is outside the box. Yeah. So that's another one, Hernandez tries to ride the challenge, so he in initiates the context outside the box, so he gives a penalty, so again, I don't know, are, are they guessing, I'm not sure, um, so they say, no, no, we're giving it for the second one, well, John Egan wins the ball in the second one, um, yeah. Adam Davis has just said that they felt as a team that even the little decisions didn't go Sheffield United's way, would you concur with that? Yeah, 100%. And this... this type of performance then with the referee even though you're not speaking about him directly what can you do about that? don't know I'll have to see I'll have to see myself because you know you get praise for you. I get a book in it's me who's going to suffer and, oh Paul come on it's a shame you've been speaking to me so well all game but where's it get you? where's it get you? something's got to be done something's got to be done and this is where look having spoken to managers in the past and look probably you somewhere mm -hmm. uh, down the uh, down the path where you wonder about the recourse of match officials don't you and and well just even the education process yeah not but i don't want to talk about it i've spoke with them and i'll keep i'll continue speaking with them uh, in terms of the overall performance then today or particularly in the second half how much did you feel as though that was a bit more kind of like the Sheffield United that went into the international break uh, how long ago was that? That was ages ago. No, listen, no, not not at all. I said the other night, the Coventry one, in terms of defensively, the Coventry one the other day was was strong. Two tiniest little errors and we've lost the game. We could have easily won it. 
Today, first half, yeah, we were okay. We did most things right, but didn't defend their long ball. We defend it well second half. They actually had more opportunities on the counter because we're pushing. Um, but everyone thinks it's a better performance because we scored two goals, and we, but we were a better attacking threat because we locked out more and then we had more of the game in their half. So that, they're the differences, and we talk about these tiny differences all the time. <clears throat> but I'll never be... Uh, as much as we look at stats... Um, and figures from games and things to, to try and get the little edge and, and bits of information, of course we do. And, but we're really clear on how we want to play. And um, we've got good players, Norwich have got good players. But second half, we showed that little bit more risk and bravery. We showed the risk and bravery first half, but we didn't deal with the long ball. You know, we weren't strong enough. Second half, we deal with it and it becomes a different game. Uh, just as a final question from me, since the... The last time we spoke to you, Reese Norrington Davis has been checked or scanned, etc. Can you give us a, an update on him? Not really. It's a, listen, it's a big injury. We could all see it, but um, no, because we're going to go down the route, speak to everyone, and then we'll know what um, what the rehab looks like and what the course of action is. Give us a clue, though. I mean, is it a long-term yeah, thing? Yeah, right. yeah. So, look, sadly, then, he, is, do you think he'll make the World Cup? No, let, let me speak to him and we get the everything, because... Um, as I say, I've got my opinion on that, but let's wait and see what happens.